Just another quick thought. Random thought, of course, on Elon Musk, because he's part of this using media to manipulate people. So, throughout history, religion and politics have been the most effective tools to manipulate the masses towards the goal of the individual. Be it the priest um, exploiting the church for his personal gain at the expense of the tithe payer, or the government doing the same thing with the taxpayer. Elon Musk recently ran this scam of free speech, but then he locked my Twitter account for wishing him a slow and painful death because he pushed marijuana, which has caused a lot of lives to be destroyed. But <laughs> Hashem forbid he'd be held accountable for his influence, right? Th that's a funny thing in itself, because it makes me think of Donald Trump. Now, if you look at the headlines for Trump in 2018, you see the two faces of the many faces of any politician, but especially Trump. In 2018, he gave a speech in Los Angeles where he said drug dealers should be executed. Death penalty for drug dealers. Because Los Angeles has had some really, really destructive impacts as a result of drugs. Specifically, marijuana legalization has had a lot of negative consequences in California. But Californians are greedy, so they don't care about the harms. They only care about the money. Uh, but in that same year, Trump legalized hemp with the Farmers Act. So it's like he... Now, I know this isn't the first time a politician has said something and then did something else, right? Broke their promises, etc. But it's really funny because Trump supporters apparently are not that cognitively functioning to even see the contradictions between Trump's promises and his actions. And this goes for Elon Musk in a different way. So, the reason this applies to Elon Musk is Judaism teaches, at least my understanding, what I've learned from rabbis on YouTube and guard your eyes, etc., is that Judaism teaches you to not give in to escapism. But instead of wishing to go somewhere else where things are better and prove things where you are. Now, does this apply to Jews in diaspora, right? Because if you're in diaspora, do you really want to improve the nations that aren't Israel, or do you want to go to Israel and improve things there? Hmm. Interesting question, but for Elon Musk, he doesn't want to improve things on Earth. He wants to escape accountability. He wants to escape the negative consequences of the actions of the rich. And the rich have done this a lot. They will screw things up, destroy entire nations, hundreds of thousands of millions of innocent lives destroyed by the greed of the rich. And the rich will just abandon, jump ship like a rat with the sinking ship, and just move somewhere else. Go to a new country. Do it all over again, start all over again. Wealth intact, etc. So, that seems to be what Elon Musk's motivation is, is he doesn't want to say, you know what, you know, you're right, Gabe, with this timeline thing, everything wrong with the planet now is the downstream consequences of greed from the, uh, you know, elites that run the world. And because their greed was unchecked, they really screwed things up, but rather than have to bathe in their own juices, so to speak, right? Have to uh, deal with the consequences of their actions. They're just going to leave to another planet. <laughs> Wild stuff.